I would love that because you know I have a lot of costumes. Amy's coming here to take things in because I will. Well, welcome. We're talking about costumes. We are talking about costumes on the bald and the beautiful today, fellas. This and is, women. And women. And theys. And thems. Wait, they, they, but don't the queer ladies people say ladies and them? Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. No, no, ladies and gentle thems. Ladies and gentle thems. Yeah. No she shed. It's a basement. I feel like Countess Luann in that clip saying like, keep serving cunt. Oh my, wait, 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 wait. Did you know Philip Picardi? You do. That he got, he's at the LGBT center. The, the, oh yes. Okay. So he was telling me he was, he worked at Condé Nast uh, with Anna Winter. And one time there was an assistant who was non-binary and very androgynous. Okay. Using, you know, pronouns that Anna's of a different generation. Well, it wasn't 2023 at the time either, right? No, it was probably 2010, 2020 or 2018 or something. Okay. It was early pronoun uh, uh, culture. She would, it was so awkward. He said that she would be like, oh, hello, you. (laughs) She could (gasps) not get her head around it, which is hysterical to me. He said it was so awkward always. Not fierce. My fear of misgendering people is strong, but- but, I have no issue just going out and saying, but you know what I will do? And I'm always right. I don't want to guess because guessing leaves. What, do you check their genitals? I'll lean in and I'll go. They're done. <laughs> and they go, yes, thank you. And I'm like, oh, got it. You lean in and I, like yeah, a creeper? I try to pr- I'd privately like check before I say like, you know, in the public sphere. Okay. Hey, her, they, him, she, they. Like yeah. I try to be like secretly discreet. Like later when I talk to you in front of the group, which what are we doing here? What are we doing? We, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. what are we doing in terms of pronouns here? Because then I see, I see like, the long and the short of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I noticed you have a, a short bang. <laughs> is it they I, them? I've yeah. seen a picture with you blue hair. Yeah. You know, wait, I, I, what I do is that I, if there's a group of people and I misgender somebody, I, and they correct me, I start crying. Oh, I yeah. pull my pants down and I piss and shit. So it just distracts from the mistake because then I just have to clean that up. Right. I was on a commercial shoot and- um, they were, it's a good thing that people are afraid of saying the wrong gender to you in drag. Now for drag, I'm sort of like, you can, like, I'll never say you use the wrong gender, but for straight people who don't know us, they are so afraid of misgendering. I'm in drag and they're like, I would like you to know. They're, it's like the straightest, straightest guy you've ever met. He's like, my name's Bronson, he, him. And I'm sort of like. So you read the handbook. You know what I mean? I'm always yeah. like, so you watch the Zoom, the sort yeah. of like yeah. um, harassment Cor- Zoom. Corporate errands of gender. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. 901. So I'm just going to get started. Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so gender, gender terminology is like something we have to circle back on. We I think we got to. We got to. We play have to. We got to. So wait, wait, let me I'm set sorry. it up. Let me set it up. Wait, on. We went on the road this weekend and Trixie did something unprecedented. She changed my life. Which is show you a meme you like. No, listen, I girl, I'm very skeptical of anything you want to share with me. I'll just be honest. This, I was like, corporate, I've never heard of it. And not only did I love it, I cannot stop looking at it. And I did what you did. I fell asleep I watching it in my hand. It was on my watching face. It. it was still playing. And I was like. And do you know what it is? She plays corporate so well that I, I feel like it's a real meeting I can't leave. Well, I'm like, oh, I better stay on camera. I better keep watching. Guess what? I've shown people who are in that, who are in that world, they don't laugh. I think that makes it really good. Because they don't know it's a joke a little bit before nine, but everybody's already here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Corporate Erin. I'm the manager for the Manager of Logistics for Management McManagement. And for the purposes of today's meeting... <laughs> why I put a nine o'clock meeting on everyone's couch yeah. this morning. Thank you so much you for being, being here. here. As Girl. kind of really just explaining my presence. So... I am taking over social media for Lisa Beasley. She's on a sabbatical. Uh, She currently doesn't have the The bandwidth. bandwidth. And we can definitely understand that even though we have our workload here, we can definitely understand when, you know, someone doesn't have the bandwidth, some of us have to pick up the slack. (laughs) By the way, that is me when I show up on the Trixie Cosmetics Slack once a week and I enter two sentences and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, thanks for being here. It's not 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 what I But you know what else it is? Have you ever done a gig for a big brand? Like a big, a big, big brand. And it's a Zoom of 75 people and they insist on going around introducing themselves. Mary. And I said, it's May 31st. Problem with is over next month and then you will all forget I existed. So let's just get through it. Let's just Shall call we? a spade a spade. Yeah. I'm the spade. Y'all are nothing. No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like Zoom, it's so hard to remember names anyway. To remember names from Zoom. Well, they have it right on the thing. That's the thing. Okay, but mama, 
I was on a Zoom. My first corporate gig is coming up. I've never done brand deals because people don't, they, I'm too sexy. You know what I mean? I'm too sexy. They're going to sell out. They can't keep up the manufacturing. So they don't even approach me. It, it's fine. I've made my peace with Another it. Another challenge is that you don't answer email. Oh, well, no, no, no. That, I, I don't answer email because- You don't circle back. Too, you don't close the loop. I can't do that because I can't follow up. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of contention, a lot of tension for me yeah. not answering emails. Every time you touch base, because we've been yeah, through this yeah, before. Yeah. Well, I was at a lunch and learn this morning. <laughs> like, so wait, wait. Uh, what's a lunch and learn for a drag queen? Mama. Going to brunch and talking shit. <laughs> lunch and learn, no, is, is when, while the audience is eating lunch, they're learning that we're disgusting. <laughs> lunch and learn, brunch and burn. <laughs> brunch and burn, dinner which and is, which is where it's a, Which is when somebody's booked for an outdoor brunch during COVID and 90 degree weather. Remember when we went to see Fina, Fina and it was 90? Martyrdom, martyrdom. And she had a caftan on with a mask on. Mama, I was in a, a like a, a, a bandeau bikini top in shorty shorts and I was like even drenched, yeah. drenched, drenched, looking for shade. But wait, 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 wait. So I'm on this Zoom in corporate Erin. I've just spent the last three days watching every single one of her TikToks over and over. I'm not joking. Right. And I've, I'm like, so when are we going to talk about the company bereavement policy? Oh, wow. Mom, dad, brother, sister, dead. Okay, wow. Way, way to bring the energy down on this call. Right. Just kidding. I want to bring levity to the situation. So just as you know, this one-on-one -on -one touch base will go a little over. Yeah, we yeah. still have some key critical talking points. Key and get critical role. talking points. Yeah. Key critical talking points. My, I know. Have you ever worked at a corporation? Mama? Yes. No. But I have a friend in Boston, this despicable man, who works as a McManager for McManagement at management.co. Uh -huh. And he makes over $300,000 a year to wow. circle up, uh, to circle back, follow through, and close, close the loop. loop. And um, meetings about meetings about meetings, um, emails about emails about emails, checking in, circling back, um, uh, uh, da uh, check, uh, the data, the, aligning up the data, centering himself, centering his presence. It's so enraging because he's a white guy, right? Well-educated grad degree in business bullshit. Mama. Sorry. He does nothing at work besides eat good food. And walk from his office to another office. Well, is it because when I started watching Aaron corporate TikTok by Lisa Beasley, the Lisa artist Beasley. is Lisa Beasley, Mama, by the way. She is so fucking funny. You have to watch the one where she's like, people are really triggered by yeah. my character. Yeah. And so I want you guys to know I only do the character in yeah. a way. Yeah, but I put the wang on, that's uh, that, that's like a yeah. But Lisa Beasley, it you have a friend. By the way, she shaves her head. She is the bald and the beautiful. Mama, she's bald. She's beautiful. She makes us look like stupid, ugly, fun, unfunny dogs. I saw one where people on the Zoom were commenting that her edges were lifting, and she was re she was referring to a um, handbook about how to speak to employees about their hair. Oh my god! What about EOJ? And she's like, you keep saying my edges are lifting, and she's playing with her hair, and the wig edge is completely <laughs> flapping. Is so fierce. EOD end of December. Brian one on one. Cunt. Oh, with her husband? Uh, no, husband Brian, Jared. Jared, Jared, Jared. When I, I lost my, oh, I, I swallowed my writing ring. Oh, my jewelry, my jewelry keeps falling out. Yeah. It's just. It's crazy. If you can't sit, you know, we've done a lot. I've done a lot of Zooms in my life, especially with the I haven't. TV stuff, like uh, yes. Trixie Motel but and stuff. We do a lot of Zooms. Do they close the loop and circle back and follow through and, and, and all that stuff? Yeah. I mean, for a while, David was on the more than me, but pre-production of season two of Trixie Motel, they were having standing, mo standing Zooms every morning, every morning. Like 7 a.m. And David would let me sleep in. Thank God. Thank you. I mean, Tracy and I were on a call last night about this project with John Mark. And and I had to say something, but I couldn't not use the language. And I, I we almost had a meltdown. I was like, so why don't we jump on a call and circle? Oh, back tomorrow. I was like, how do I say it regularly? Pin in it oh, and piggyback I'll on ping it. you. I'll ping you once you've followed through. Or no. Once we circle back, you ping me and then we'll close the loop. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a gentleman who does a corporate boss who does like, oh, uh, good, good, good. Everybody see my screen? Oh, okay. <laughs> How about underserving the overserving the underserved rat community? Well, that's the the pair. The, the nonprofit the, boss. If you like corporate Aaron, by the way, if you listen <gasps> to Bald and Beautiful, trust us. Look <gasps> these up. Corporate <gasps> Aaron is fierce. Nonprofit, nonprofit boss is, is also fierce and she does it for less money. But but it's the mission and it's it's going for it and it's the passion. And, and it's, um, it's so funny. It's so funny. It's, it's really, really, the nonprofit boss is I just feel seen. I'm, I'm tears in my eyes because I feel just so seen right now. And, and every you know, time you enter the office, she's like, 
taking a piece of dark chocolate and eating it for 20 minutes, the tiniest bites. And then and then Erin has her twisted claw, claw of, love, of a, like, like with a cardigan. She's like, so, yeah, um, thank you for joining. So our bereavement pause, okay, so the, we have to play the bereavement pause. I, know. I mean, you have to do it, I'm sorry, the whole full minute. It's, it's really, you, you know, have to. You, you might have, have to. You might have come to us before for original content, but Mama, now we just recap we're TikTok. Just a, we're just a so dishwasher. Whatever. We're just a dishwasher. So I gotta find the clip. I gotta find the clip. Okay. Roll the tapes. I know where it is. In the meantime, I'd love to say hi. As we approach the end of January, it's really time to consider, are you really going to make that beach body a reality? I don't think so. Stop going to the gym, eat lots of peanut butter, and don't be afraid to shit in your bed at night. <laughs> I do it all the time. And guess what? I've got abs. Not on my body, all over my wall. With pictures of people with abs. Thank you so much, and have a happy Easter. Did you see the one where she recommends bumping up Black History Month? Oh, so the, crazy. Uh, the portal. The portal. Yeah, the portal. Or the portal. Well, you know what's ingenious about it? When I, when I realized, when I watched it for the 13th, 14th, 15th time, she's actually highlighting other creators in such a, an ingenious way and using brand partnership deals money because she was kicked off Facebook in such an ingenious way. She was kicked off Facebook? Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg kicked her off of Meta. For what? Um, for being too fierce, uh, closing the loop too fast. Maybe she, maybe because no, she does political. content that- It's political. Oh, well, it's you political. know, a friend of ours, I won't say who, plays Betty Bowers. And she was explaining to me the ins and outs of like, when you do content that incurs wrath, you have to be really careful online. Yeah. When you run a you foul of the harassment. Hollywood foreign press, they make you go Girl, I can't ass. find it. I can't. I know. I, and I'm going to. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Edit, edit this. Hey, that's okay. We've had some great live pods recently, by the way. We just did Salt Lake City and Denver. Had a blast. I got to say, I love California and I love the warm winter or I love the warm winters here. Um, but what about like the city, altitude? What about Salt the altitude? Like city when it was snowing, those big fat pieces of snow. It was I gorgeous. Loved it. it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And I know we sound stupid because you all are months into snow, some of you, and you're like, fuck you faggots. But it made me kind of understand the magic. Without the magic, the shitty part of winter, spring means nothing in LA. Right, right, no, the when you live somewhere where the snow is the melting, spring mean nothing. is off the chain. Everybody's out of their house. People are spending money. Yeah, in LA, it's like with no winter, with no way to meter. It was almost nice to have winter months to get depressed every year. Okay, here we go. Your whole family passed away this weekend. That was you on the news. Oh no, mom, dad, sister, brother gone. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so. Way to bring down the energy of this one-on-one. Okay, just kidding. I wanted to bring some levity to your day. Um, I will take some time to explain the bereavement policy to you, but just keep in mind that this may cause our one-on-one to go over today because there still are some critical key talking points that I have to get through on our agenda. Isn't that fierce? Okay, so just really quickly, um, I wanted to run our bereavement policy by you now, okay? Okay. Okay, so mom and dad and immediate family, you get one day. Okay, for any aunt or uncles or cousins, you get a half a day. Okay, we don't acknowledge chosen family here, but we have ran into the Nor policy you. where you get five minutes in the break room. But, but if, if you, you work, work from, from home, home you don't need to take advantage of that policy. policy. Girl, okay? all now, I do is watch her. That you can it's put in so these days sad. Better. Now, some people say, well, if it's unexpected, how can I put it in 36 months in advance if it's unexpected? Well, sometimes... You can kind of anticipate these things, but in your case, <laughs> unfortunately, um, we will still grant some of these days to you, but keep in mind, just because it's multiple family members doesn't mean that it runs consecutively, so you still just have one day, it's fierce. okay, for the immediate family since Wait, they all passed well, away I'm at sorry. once, okay? So, um, now, if we can, just get back to the talking points, because we have some client deliverables that we have to get back client to. Client deliverables. Uh, to That's ensure not that they arrive timely. And, and Sarah, Sarah, I do want to put some other things on your radar, okay? Um, when you take your day, make sure that you pass along all of the information that you're supposed to pass along we'll to your colleagues that. before you take your day. Also, be sure to put your out-of-office message up, because there's nothing worse than when I try to email you, and I think that you got it, and I don't have out-of-office, and I'm expecting that comments actually from you by EOD. Okay. Wait, now, wait, wait, wait. if you do need thing. anything from me before you take your day, keep in mind, keep me posted when that day is because I'm going to be out for two weeks. Jared booked us a vacation <laughs> and I told him I did have some critical work here to do, but he already booked it. So we'll be out. It's just. It's so fierce. It's Give it up for Lisa Beasley on TikTok. Lisa, Go follow Lisa, Lisa Beasley. Be Lisa Bevolving, I think it's called Lisa. Oh, right. Lisa, if you, if you go to TikTok and you just look for corporate Aaron, she comes right up. Yes. Okay, so it's, it's and she does other characters. She does men. Yes. I mean, Aaron's kind of the, the fucking bomb. The, the queen one is hysterical. Mary, this this woman is just beyond. She's amazing. It's Lisa Be, Lisa Bevolving. 
Yeah, Lisa, we love you. We love you. Love. We love you. you. I'm I, in drag. That's she, drag, honey. She's on par with Simone Biles at me, with me at this point. I love Actually, lo- that is Simone Biles. What's <laughs> gr- what's great about it is like when I read, when I started watching her TikToks, you know, I'm I'm not a corporate person, I guess. But you've been in that. But I've been in that yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. I've been on the, the You have a lot of brand deals. Before Zooms, when oh. I worked at Mac, I would be on the phone conferences where you'd sit on speakerphone for hours talking about product. And then, but now like Zooms, like we have Zooms in in our world and entertainment all the time Uh about contracts and stuff. I just never been to one. But corporations like that, I started doing the deep dive of like, people have stitched corporate Aaron and said, this is why this corporate speak exists. Mm -hmm. And they talk about the culture of like, if you're young in the corporate world, the pressure is on to go out drinking, to become friends, to suck up, to basically... Uh, beat match other people's speech patterns to make them think that you are like-minded, yeah. which is why everyone starts to talk the same. It's a really crazy world. But also, here's the thing too, the timing, because because so many people are just waiting for an email from this person and that person. You can't be too fast, but you can't be too slow. Yeah. Because if you're too fast, you're stressing everybody else and you're setting a precedent that other people don't want. It's like, don't do all that, but also I need that email. So it's like a really tenuous balance of timing. Yeah. It's fucking... It's fierce. It's gross. I well, hate it. I could never do it. I would rather work at the car wash. This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by BetterHelp. Give online therapy a try at betterhelp.com bald and get on your way to being your best self. So it's the new year and oftentimes we're focused on going back to the gym and creating our perfect beach body. But what about your perfect beach brain, huh? So often the mind-body connection is something that is, um, well, disconnected. And we have so many different gyms to go to, so many different diets to do, but what about therapy, Mary? Therapy, how's the brain? How's the brain inside the body? So maybe instead of getting obsessed with how to change our bodies, we can focus more on how we're going to change our minds. Therapy is the most wonderful thing, and it's not just for crisis. It's not just for when things are really horrible. It's a way to process with the help of a professional uh, all the different sort of challenges that life has to offer. Even when things are going great, there's still confusion, sadness, you name it. I go to therapy twice a week now, honey. And as a person who's always been introspective, I'm always amazed at the discoveries I'm, I'm making. There's always something to talk about. And I always, always, always feel better. Now, the great thing about BetterHelp is that you don't have to leave the house. Honestly, in the past, one of the biggest barriers to therapy is getting in a car. I have a fear of getting into a car accident. So how the f*** am I going to get into a car to go drive 35 minutes to an office? BetterHelp is wonderful because you don't have to do that. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So you just need to fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge or any reason whatsoever. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. I've definitely been fired a lot of times and two of the times were for big corporations Mm -hmm. and I didn't work at corporate, but I worked for corporations where, you know, the firing is very like, well, in the handbook that you signed, you did agree to blah, 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 blah. And so we are going to have to terminate you. So every time I've been terminated, they say it like, we are going to have to terminate you. We're offboarding you. Yeah. Yeah. uh, We made the decision, the difficult decision to uh, off, uh, discontinue your employment. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of tension, a lot of contention. But I'll tell you, I mean, I've fired people and I've been fired so many times. We've talked, when I've had to fire people, I've usually talked to you first. Don't try to make it nice. Just say, hey, it's not working. I'm going to let you go. This is what that looks like. And if you can manage to do this with um, not with compa- a degree of compassion and truth and ad- honesty, don't sugarcoat it. Don't lie. Don't lie. Because that person is going to hold an act. They're going to not learn about themselves. They're going to go into their next. They need to have accurate feedback so that they can process it and do better or whatever or, or disagree or whatever. But they need to be able to have the right facts. Why did you let me go? Well, we've all decided that. And like when you use that corporate speak, it's circuitous, it's vague, it's not precise and it's not direct and it's fucking despicable. I've been removed from show lineups before. Show, show, what? show lineups. Oh, show lineups. And between the client, the manager and me, yeah, and the, the manager will say like, oh, they just went in a different direction. And I go, 
so what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah. Either they got someone else or I cost too much money yeah. or I made a joke they don't like or yeah. something. It's it's always something and it's I, yeah. it's not really my business, but I want to know. Well, they went in a different direction because they smelled you and they're like, oh, we got to veer to the left. My client deliverable, which is my grape size hemorrhoid hanging on my ass. <laughs> that's critical. That's a critical that, that's key, a key talking, talking point. point. <laughs> That's a critical key talking point. Deliverables. When I heard the word deliverable asset in deck, she goes on about it's like the difference between a deck and an asset and the deliverables. Oh, I love that one. I'm yes. like, and it's like it, the, these are very. D- d- I mean, they are. Very, it's like, but a word has, does have meaning. Like, no, no, it does. There means something. If if Maybelline contracts you to make a makeup video yeah. and they want two TikToks, a story. Mm-hmm. And a, and a video. Those are all the deliverables. Those are deliverables. I don't know what else you would call them. The assets. stuff. No, assets are the videos in that comprise the deliver. Like asset is um an asset is one piece of all the deliverables. Well, then there's also elements. Elements of the deck in the elements. assets for the deliverables. Like, oh, I'm doing a video for them. I'm going to get their elements, which is their like logos and fonts. Girl, it's a whole thing. But you got to use your power for good. You know, I do think it's possible to use these words without sounding like that. Yes. Well, yes. Uh, Yeah. But it's also, I think the most important thing is the nonprofit boss serving the rat community. And despite the language barrier, despite the language barrier, the the scenes and the crack up together is so funny. The best is when the nonprofit boss goes, um, maternity leave. So the answer is, maternity stay. The answer is yes and not yet. (laughs) But wait, they have a robust maternity stay program. Yeah. Which is like, which is like, you know, if you need time with your family, remember this is a family and we can help you here. Basically saying like, bring your newborn to work. Love. She says, put up on a, you put it, you put it on um, a backpack, you switch your chair so you can be at the office and then the baby's back there and you're still typing. Love. It's, it's fierce. And it's not to uh, remove from the truth. Not at all, bitch. And we, you and I are not in danger of being pregnant. Not because we're men, but because of our hysterectomies. Thank you. But I, well, I call nature's hysterectomy, which is making me born male. That was nature <laughs> like being nature's like, candy. We're, you're, you're not worthy of being a mother. Hiding. I mean, you're mothering, <laughs> but we're not going to allow you to mother, bitch. You're, they're hiding nature's candy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in other countries, I remember in French class in high school, they talked about maternity leave in France. Three years. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Paternity, I think, is one year even. Uh, yeah. In, in Sweden, they have 25 years maternity leave. Oh, in Sweden, if you jerk <laughs> off, you're a father and you have you have a pension for life. In America, you could be the octomom and they would be like, we'll see on Zoom at 7 a.m. cunt. You <laughs> know the, what I mean? You gotta, we, we've flown out a computer, to, flew out a computer flew to the hospital. Flew out to the hospital, to the emergency room. You would be mascara running, legs up, crowning, Bl- <laughs> shitting. Yeah. And like, they'd be like, we need your cameras on. Yeah, yeah. Karen, we need your camera Karen, on. Karen, we know you're in pain, but we have some critical uh, key to, uh, talking points to get to on the agenda. <laughs> well, what do you think about all these poor kids who went to school during COVID? And it was like cameras on taking math class. Oh, Did you say meth class? You wish. I math know. class. I, I mean, that would have got us through COVID. <laughs> Master's, doctorate, <laughs> PhD. <laughs> is, is a PhD a doctorate? PhD is a doctor of philosophy, yeah. What do you think about doctors? What's going on there? Oh, I've got plenty to say. Are I you ready for this? I doctors with borders. I want, <laughs> you know, like, I think they have too much freedom. You know, you ever go to a doctor's office, make an appointment with your doctor and you show up and it's not them. It's an associate or an, or someone else. I'm like, am I a Nikki fan? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm like, am I a doctor fan? Yes. Not the, pull up with the physician's assistant. <laughs> pull yeah. up with the nurse practitioner. Mama, it's let me George tell, Santos. Let me He's tell like, you Let's something. open you up. Girl, I got to tell you something fierce. I got to tell you something very fierce. Speak on it. It's not about a doctor. It's, oh my God, you're going to die. Right. I talked, I have to keep it vague. I have to keep anonymity. Okay. Right. Dr. A, Seuss. A friend of, no, a friend of mine, um, uh, not from LA, recently visited a psychic. No, he didn't visit a psychic. He was. He was visited by one no, in the no. middle of the night. So a friend recommended this, this healer, a healer. Mm. And then, so this is how it went down. The healer gave him a phone call. Okay. Um, and said, so what are you going to do? is you're going to lay down for 45 minutes. You're going to drink some water. You're going to, um, uh, you know, th- she gave him a little bit of pro- protocol for the next, for how the, the morning should go. You're going to drink plenty of water and you're going to lay down for 45 minutes. Then I'm going to call you. During the time you're laying down, I, I will be receiving messages. I will be re- um, assessing your energy from a remote location that she did not disclose at any time whatsoever. Okay? And then... So 45 minutes goes by. I think he fell asleep. 
he fell asleep a couple times. She calls him four times. He finally wakes up and answers the phone. She's like, I think he fell asleep. He's like, okay, well, I have, I have your information. <gasps> um, first, she says, there's a lot of tension in your neck. First, we're going to go on with energetically what's going on with your body. I saw a lot of tension in your neck. Um, I also spoke with your grandfather. He wanted me to tell you, good job, son. And then... I also, um, I'm getting, I wrote it down on a napkin and I fucking forgot. So it's all out of order. But she also said, you have one person in your life or has allowed you to, um, in, uh, to uh, discern dishonest behavior. I was like, Mary, we live in LA. We live in LA. Ain't nobody telling the truth here. She also said, um, there's a hole in your gut, in your stomach. There's a hole when you were 15, a hole created... In There's your, a knife in your back in the blood. No, 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 no. No. There's yeah. an egg, crack an egg over yeah, your head. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Tight squeeze, cool breeze. Doesn't that give you the chills? No. And she went on and on. You have beautiful feet. You have beautiful feet. And she charges money. Come on, I'll get to that in a second. It's in your life, you're like a drop in a pond, and the ripples that emanate from that drop must be good. That's verbatim. She also said, You have many young men who look up to you. She also said, um, you are a, a gentle soul. She also said, um, things are complicated in your life, but they're also very easy. What? It was the vaguest, most bullshittiest scam. I would just swing big if I was a fake psychic. $333. I don't even like that number. It's an angel number because guess what? Also, the archangel Michael visited me and had a message for you. And it went bonk, bonk. No, I remember, I don't forget what the message was, but it if was- If I was a fake psychic, by the way, and I don't believe all psychics are fake. I believe in intuition. I believe people feel things and know things. However- it's Sure. Well, I recently saw Teresa Caputo at the airport. You Are you kidding me? I can't believe I didn't tell you this. The Long now. Island medium? You didn't- I get to Milwaukee. This was around Halloween when I did my gig for, at my bar at oh, This sure. Is It Milwaukee, yeah. which is doing fabulous, by the way. Stop right in. Yeah, yeah. Not bankrupt. Not at all. Not bankrupt. <laughs> um, yeah, or they go there. It's just seized. <laughs> yeah, no. Board it um, up. We're doing fine. Yeah. We can count on <laughs> the renovating. gays of Milwaukee to drink. Oh, okay? Yeah, yeah. That's what we can count on. Bonk, bonk. Um, I land at the airport to do my Halloween gig, my annual. It's my eighth year doing my Halloween party there. Come on, eight years. And I go, from the back, I go, God, that bitch's hair is Wild. It's 613 straw blonde. It's teased out. It's he from the back. She it's huge. It looks like she has a wig. Hollywood Boulevard Outfitters wig. Outfitters wig. Outfitters not a, wig. Not a, not a no, nice, no. I an a ginger wig, wig, wig on. on. Yeah, ginger wig. <sighs> I go, that's so crazy. That hair is so fierce. I go, I wonder if that's even all real. What an intense thing to wear at the airport in Milwaukee of all places. I almost would expect it in LA, like a little more of a freak show in LA. Yeah, sure. She turns around and I go, you're kidding. I say it out loud. And you know my celebrity problem is that I say their names. You're like, oh my God, Teresa Caputo, three inches from her face. But you know, I can't always remember their names. Oh no. So I'm like, Vince Camuto. You know, like- <laughs> Vince or, Camuto, the Staten Island psychic. Yeah. <laughs> but I just <laughs> go, Camuto. she turns around and locks eyes with me and I go, you're kidding. Like, as, as she was like, I'm just trying to get my bags. Like you bald bitch, like you coming for my hair. And like, and I just went, that can't be her. That can't be her. Like, and I had spent the whole day thinking about my own psychic powers. To, so to see her was like, you know, it was like, you know, it's like if you were playing basketball all day and you ran into LeBron. Yeah. You know, I was like, wow. Well, so then later I go, I can't, that wasn't her. There's no way that was her. I go by the Riverside Theater that we've played, the Paps or whatever. And the marquee says, Milwaukee welcomes Teresa Caputo. I was like, work. Fierce. She looks like she had a wig on. It was, I just, I respect people who fly she in did. character. Of course she did have a wig on. But I guess, I mean. I know what you mean. I respect I know what you mean. people who- It's like Peggy Bundy. They walk off camera and they walk the walk off camera. Like yeah. Amanda. Amanda flies like that. I know. Middle or like, um, um, you know who else? Um, People like, uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Andy Milanakis. Exactly. In the wild, he always has like cool goggles on. He was like a comedian uh, star in the 2000s. Carrot and Top. Not well, exactly incognito. He can't exactly take that off, <laughs> can he? <laughs> yeah. I love- Steven Tyler. It's not just Carrot Top. It's, I love male comics with- with drag queen level face work. It's wild. I fucking it's wild. Bom, bom, bom. Like <laughs> I love it. And I have seen Beat it up. I have seen comics at Earth Bar. I've seen so many comics at Earth Bar. Male comics from like the 2000s and Earth 90s. Bar. The the smoothie place. Oh, sure. $18 oh, smoothies. Oh, oh, $24 now. Yeah. yeah. After COVID. Girl. And I have I have I have been waiting for my little green goddess or whatever. And you turn the corner and it is somebody with biceps the size of a watermelon. <laughs> and the face is 
a, a, a mahogany tan, it mahogany is Joan tan. Joan Rivers from here to yeah. here, and then um, Lou Ferrigno from the neck down. It's fucking crazy. It's wild with the eighteen year old girlfriend. Love, live, so, uh, what, so, live, laugh, uh, and love. Live, laugh, love, and yeah, and then uh, go to uh, Erewhon or or whatever Earth Bar. So what is it with? Because I have a theory. I have a theory about stand up comedians. I was talk. I was talking to my aunt Priscilla and. And she, I was making her laugh. She's like, "You should do stand up." I was like, "Not, no, I never." And um, no, she said, "You should do stand up." You said, "There's literally a special." Thanks for uh, your support, no, it's, bitch. It's not that special. Um, so the um, I, I like, I was like, no. And then I got to thinking, like, what is it about you know? Because I'm going down the rabbit hole of Louis C.K., Dave Chappelle, yada yada yada. What is it about these aged, mostly male, but I don't think it's just uniquely male comedians who fucking lose it. They lose it. Is it the success? Is it the is it a, a, a level of achievement where they're so cushy comfortable that they don't they're not able to access wry observations about life? What is it? Girl? I'll tell you what it is. It's money, of course. Yeah, but what does that it's mean? What does that mean, the money? Pookie. The pookie. It's several types of pookies, girl. Ta ta talk about it. What do you mean? Glad, what, but like purple pookies? Like what are you talking Miss about? Miss pills, misprescription pills. Do you really? I, I'm I I feel so naive. That's why everyone gets so weird and bloated too. It's Miss pills. Miss Pills. Miss Pills. It's good pill hunting up in there. Girl, you can go down. Why am I, Wait, what? How am I breaking news I, to no, you? No, I'm shocked. No, I don't believe you. You got to. Uh, well, I think it's money. I think it's a lot of things. Well, it depends. Dave Chappelle? It depends which comics you're talking about, like what happens to them. Eddie Murphy. I do think it's money. Eddie Murphy. Right? Because you and I, no matter how rich or fancy we got, we are still cross-dressers. Still half the country hates us, no matter what. But, but I, I'll speak for myself. Girl, I have achieved a level of success that in California is not only not impressive, it's kind of like, I'm, I'm like a, a barely middle class. Dancing with the stars, bitch. We're, we're, we couldn't even get on Dancing with the Stars. Honey, we're not that famous. We, Z-Way didn't even want just me. Z-Way didn't even want just me. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, excuse your mouth, Mary. I, and I love Little her, Little did she know she got a deal. She Hello. got the good one. Honey, and then she got Bob separately together, you know, Yours. boop, 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 boop. Did you watch the Z-Way Santos interview? I, no, I don't want to give him any of my it Bibles. Chomps, it chomps, it chomps, it chomps, it chomps. You're not giving him, you're giving her. Uh, it's, he doesn't get paid for that. Um, no, but he gets paid in what he, I, I saw a clip where he talks about, like, she's like, why did you get booked? And he's like, stop paying attention to me or something like that. Didn't he say that? I saw a clip on Twitter. Well, so that's was like, the hard thing. So right? I was like, like, then I'm not paying attention to that fucking asshole. Hate watching is still supporting, unfortunately. Yeah. You know when what I mean? is she going to have Bobert on? Too afraid of getting jerked off, Z-Way? Wait a minute. We have to talk about what happened in, in Denver. I went into the audience to reenact Bobert. <gasps> yeah, what happened? And there was that drunk woman. What did she do? Because I couldn't hear you. Well, I got up close. Trace, do you remember this? I got we up close because I, I, I saw a few empty spots and I thought, great, I'm going to do my low, my low Bulbert act. My plan was right, to do something right. many drag queens have done, which is to go sit in the audience and with your big wig, do this in someone's lap and everyone sure. laughs. Ha yeah, ha yeah, ha. Yeah, high sex is funny. Sex is funny. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Um, and also the real humor is that someone would have sex with me. Ha ha ha. You know? Yeah. And I go yep. out there and I see an empty seat and I go, I'm just going to sit here. And this girl's so drunk. She grabs both, but then she grabs the boa, and I thought I have to abandon the bit because I can't right, right, right. sit next to her yeah. or around her. What? And apparently, she got carried out later. By the way, didn't pay attention. Booted out of the theater. Bo I didn't style. see it. She got bobirded. Yeah, she got bobirded. I didn't see it. Do you remember when someone puked on themselves in the front row of Trixie and Katya, and Kelly didn't even notice? Mama, can I do Kelly the impression? Can notice. I do the impression? Yes. So you're in the front row. Doing your thing. Okay, I'm doing acting. She's the person's this close. It was this, and then a trail of puke. You can see the puke down the chest. After the show, you and I were like, I can't believe that person. And Kelly goes, what? what? Mama, that's an actor. She's in the moment. She's in the character. She doesn't see the audience. She's yeah. living the fantasy. What I love about Kelly is Kelly is a smart woman, but in drag, Kelly's brain cells plummet. Because she steps into that, like, they I'm just pretty role. They disperse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's like, sort of like, what? It's like and different then out of drag, of the brain. she's so big brain. Yeah. And then in drag, she's a bimbo, yes. which I love. I mean, that's the, you know, always that adage about it takes a real smart woman to play a bimbo, right? Well. She's very smart. That makes us really smart. Very jealous. Very jealous. <laughs> when was the last time you were jealous? I get, by the way, I gassed you up to my aunt. I, I talked I talk to my aunt. aunt I talked to my father. Did you talk to your aunt or your aunt? Because these are different. I'm so sorry. I talked to my aunt Priscilla. We're from the East Coast. Right. We don't do aunt. We don't do aunt. And she would slap me on the wrist. But I and I tell me if I'm boring. I just wanted to get this little piece out. This woman is so extraordinary. She was 
Uh, uh, so when you were in the born in fifty eight, as she was, you were you had two choices as a woman in Massachusetts: be a teacher or a nurse. Two Her mom. So my mom was a nurse. She was a teacher. She taught oh. French and Spanish. Oh wow! And then um, she taught French and Spanish. Then she became vice president or a vice principal. Then she became principal. She was vice president of the United States. Yeah, and then she became, and then she moved to Texas. She became um, a principal, superintendent, and the same thing in California. What, Mama, she conquered. Superintendent is the one who oversees the educational system of an entire region or state. Oh, it's the principal of many schools. It's the the administrative That's- head of like so. What in a school district, the, the superintendent is the high up. I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. You know, you have the principal, then you have the administration. It sounds important, but I've never it's, been clear on what it is. Well, yeah, and also it's when a, a, a teacher does it, a teacher, then a vice, the, she worked up the chain. Like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger became the governor after having no experience in politics. It's crazy. She oh. went all the way up the ladder, conquered East, South, and California. This woman is so fucking smart. Well, don't you, if you want a superintendent, don't you want someone who has all the way down the ladder, also taught in yes. room, in classroom. Yes, and I'm talking remember all Betsy grades. Remember Betsy DeVos? Honey. Someone who's never even heard of a student loan? She doesn't even know what students are. She's like, all right, what are these books? It's, a little, bit of, it's a little bit of a throwback, but you want to talk gooning? That video what, what of Miss Elizabeth Warren talking to Betsy DeVos being like, have you ever taken a student loan? Have you ever gone to a public college? I have not seen this video. Oh, God. It's Bo, so Bert, roll the She's clip. like, has anybody in your family ever had to have financial assistance? No, she's the wife of a billionaire. She knew nothing. Yeah. She, and Elizabeth Warren was like, scammers love hearing this. They love hearing someone at your level of power has no idea how the system works. Yeah. You can't help anyone. It's, it's like how you can't ask rich people how to save money. If you've well, never had good work experience, actually, well, you can't ask inher- people have inherited wealth. That's what I mean. People enrich their whole life. Yeah, yeah, generational wealth. Yeah. Well, we talked about that too. I mean, it, it, girl, it's just wild. So she never had children. My um, my my aunt Priscilla, she's so fucking cool. She's so fucking smart. Oh my god, love the name Priscilla. Aunt, aunt, sorry, my god, I don't know why I keep Priscilla saying aunt. and Patricia. Wow. Number one in her class, catch it, wow. honey. She had everybody gooped and gagged. She was so cunty. Wow. Years. Love the name. You names. would love her. You would love her. Are you fine with Brian? Yes, yeah, whatever. I used to not really care I, for I like, it. I like the the Catholic naming system. Like I like the Russian naming system. You got um, Lori, David, Pat, John, Luke. Shelley, Aaliyah, Rose, Brian, Darren, and Ulysses. No, you got uh, just a handful of names. They're not weird. Priscilla's nice. That's not from the I, Bible. No, no. So my dad, okay, <laughs> Roman Catholic. You know the book of Priscilla. No, my Roman Catholic, we got Bill, John, James, Gerard, Daniel, uh, Tom, um, Mary, and then you have um, Kathy, and 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 then that's uh, there's another one, Eleanor. El- yeah, Eleanor's that was. It. When I was a kid, did you ever want a different name? When I was a kid, I thought the name Max was so cool. I wanted Christian or Dominic. Christian? Yeah, I, I it's think, like a hot '90s name. I love Christian Slater. Yeah, or Christian from Clueless. Yeah, so Christian was gay, right? Christian was gay. Was yeah, he, he was a uh, something thumbs a friend of Dorothy. Yeah. Your boy Christian is a cake boy. A cake boy. He's a boy? disco dancing, Barbra Streisand, ticket holding, <laughs> friend of Dorothy. And then she goes, "I am totally bugging." <laughs> and then they almost get in the car accident. <laughs> I know she's not exactly a popular political character, but Stacey Dash oh, and Stacey. Clueless. Oh, right. Uh, when she starts screaming, it takes her hands off the wheel <laughs> and like covers her eyes. Cunty. Cunty. Listen, Dion, Alyssa, uh, when your when your um, sinuses are acting up, take out your nose piercing. I love that movie. Yeah, it's great. I mean, you guys got coke here? <laughs> so I could really go for a herbal refreshment right now. And then they're like, Ty, are you talking about weed? I always thought it was interesting that these high schoolers like tell her weed isn't cool. Well, it's like in Romeo and Michelle, it's a whole different paradigm. Yeah. Because those are those are mean it's girls, like but, they're, but they're mean nerd. They're mean losers. They're preppy. Yeah, like Romeo and Michelle are like not cool, but they hate the nerds. Yeah, and in Clueless, she's not a nerd, but she's concerned about getting an A. Like she, yeah. that whole movie is about her getting a good grade. Yeah, she is. She wants to do good, but she's it's, so she's it's the entitlement, the richness, but she's not a villain. She's a good person. Don't even get me started. But that's that's part rare. Of what makes that movie so good. And True Beverly Hills. Yeah, it, Shelley Long. Shelley Long should be. She cares about. She's those out girls. of touch. She's out of touch. Mar Vista. How many boxes were you sending to Mar Vista? She's out of touch because she's born into wealth, but she's doing good. Were you ever a Boy Scout? 
Oh, I wish. David Lynch was Eagle Scout Montana. I was always so fucking jealous that Girl Scouts sold these delicious, affordable, I hated beautifully packaged cookies. I hated those girls. And Boy Scouts sold popcorn. A fucking bag, a of, a bag of seeds. Wait a minute. Wait a, a minute. A bag of seeds. Do you want to buy popcorn? That's fucking lame, bitch. That is lame. By the way, popcorn is popcorn. Girl Scout cookies are I mean, like a flavor that only come from the they're Girl iconic. Scouts. They're iconic. They're iconic. Right. They're legendary. You know, we had to do at Immaculate Conception School, uh, the Catholic school I went to. Fuck priests. Uh, no, we talked about that too far. The McLaughlin, ugly as hell. So ugly, droning. But pull Let us proclaim pussy. the mystery of faith, Lamb of God. It's like, shut the fuck up. Praise him from bars. whom all blessings flow. Oh, yeah. Wow, your songbirds, your songbird sopranos really get tugging at my heartstrings. I believe in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all rise for the lamb or whatever. Peace be with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. <laughs> what is it? You know, I'll tell you this. I I'd didn't rather go to, do Latin. I didn't go to church till I was 19. I went for the first time. Why? Because my boyfriend at the time, we went on Christmas with his family. Okay. And I had like a smoky eye. I can't believe I went to, I was like an all black with my smoky eye. Like oh my church God. is fierce. Like yeah, I don't. <laughs> Jesus, cunty. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> the body slay. Like, <laughs> and I remember Christ, everyone tea. going, and also with you. And if you've never heard that before, you're like, so we're culting today. And then you Every shake hands. Did you have to shake hands? Good Terrified. Morning. Good morning. Ugh, get away from me, you bum. And if you didn't, they had to, they do that in AA too. And I was like traumatized from the Catholic church. I was like, I'm not touching nobody. I don't think um, jokes at the expense of the unhoused community is funny. However, have you ever seen the movie Scary Movie? I, I yes, a long time ago. Though, I don't There's remember. a part where an unhoused person say homeless. It, they don't well, unhoused at the, is at the 90s. I think they called it homeless. Yeah, homeless. But it's homeless. Um, goes, can I have a can, uh, please, sir? And she goes, oh, get away from me, you bum. And then Anna Ferris goes, Here's Buffy, a he's he's hungry. Here's a nice sandwich, sir. And he goes, I was at a dollar, bitch, and whips a sandwich. <laughs> I saw at her. that clip recently, cunty dude. I recently rewatched House Bunny. Oh, she's Anna uh, she's, Ferris. Yeah, she's so funny. Is that her own? Level. What about when she goes in the, the um um in the little Japanese ghost boy? And she goes, um, Hana Yelantra. And he's like, Yamasaki, Benihana. And they just say they say, they say brands. They say a brands of Japanese like gibberish back and Motorola. forth. And they have Arigato Motorola Takasaki. It's like so it's so stupid Those and offensive. Movies. It's hysterical. And it, and Miss Regina? Miss Regina. Regina Hall. Oh, is she the one that gets Brenda? stabbed in the theater? Her best friend Brenda. I don't, I don't remember this movie. Her best well. friend Brenda gets stabbed in the theater. Because she, she's laughing too hard. Yes. Yeah, fierce. And she's in every movie. I don't know. When you got to think that like Anna Ferris had never done movies before and that was her first like real, real, real movie. Mm -hmm. She swings so big. So big, so broad. She makes that It's movie. so broad. Yeah, yeah. She's so silly and like, uh, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's what do you think is going to happen with Scream? Uh, can I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. I hate those movies. You do? The podcast it. is over. Have a great oh, day, everybody. No. Listen, with the, uh, no, you know, did you see the new one? In new olive, York? olive, and um, uh, olive oil and and oil and water. You know, Ozzy sure. and Harriet, uh, Lucy and 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 De those uh, things go together. Peanut butter and jelly. No, no, they're different, but they're complementary. That's what okay. I'm saying. Like, I have an opinion. You have an opinion. That's how we find. Um, that's how we get the audience to argue. And, right. But I don't like those movies because um, I don't. I want to be uh, jump scares. Get out of here. Go fuck off with the jump scares. I want to be terrified in my bones. <gasps> talk to me. Did you talk watch to The me. Passenger? Oh, is it terrifying? Are there jump scares? Um, It starts with a... No. Good. It starts with a fast food restaurant with a couple employees in the South. And one employee is getting bullied. Another employee just snaps, pulls a gun and shoots every employee there. And takes one hostage, and the whole movie is him being a hostage to his employee who lost his mind. That sounds like a... it's cunt, and the main guy is so hot. I know main guy isn't helpful, but I never know actor names. Lead actor, the lead character, the main character, the main girl. I sound so fucking. I'm such white trash girl. Uh, no, you're not. It's just the you, main you, girl. So we didn't go to NYU Tisch School of the Arts, whatever. Like, but no, I still call it movies. Everyone else says film. They say to. Oh, I thought they said talkies. No, a film. moving picture. Film. A moving picture. A film. Film. What's that person? John McLean? John, John McLean. A feature film. A film. I was um I watched the trailer for the um Mother's Instinct starring Jessica Chastain and Anne Hathaway. Honey, sweetie, darling, baby, Tootsie. This 10 seconds in the trailer, I was crying. I went, <gasps> tears. Right. And then 
it's like, it could be a stinker. It hasn't come out yet, but it is so compelling. Trailers tell us nothing. No. But this, they also tell us everything. Yeah, exactly. But trailers now tell you the whole plot. I don't think the trailer, this trailer intimated, this suggested a lot, but just enough for me to get my, park my, I will be seated and lensed at that theater. Oh, these Scream trailers do everything but unmask the killer. You know yeah. how everyone dies. Like, you know all of yeah. it. Yeah. What, what was the movie that um had a big, big, t- um oh, Us. I oh, am so, that was a trailer. I love that. That was a trailer because when Tim Heidecker and Elizabeth Moss had doubles, that was a gag arena. Mm-hmm. That was a big gag. Because of course the trailer just included the black family with Lupita Nyong'o. Yes. When that mother, when they turned or they got, got, I was truly gagged. I didn't care for the film very much. It didn't really add up, but- it was, um, that was cunty. Elizabeth Moss. I think it's vodka clock. So yeah. fierce. Wait, wait, wait. What else? Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Have you seen the intro to the movie Beverly Hills Cop 2 where Brigitte Nielsen serving the most cunt robs the bank? No. Girl. I've never seen this movie. I, Isn't the, that a Chris Farley movie? No, Eddie Murphy. I'm thinking of Beverly Hills Ninja. Sorry. <laughs> You're thinking of honky white grandma. <laughs> Sorry. Honky white grandma kicks no, I've ass. never seen Beverly Hills Cop 2. Well, you, I'm going to show it to you. It's two minute, half minutes long. Not now, of course, but are you, you're not ready for the cunt that gave birth to all cunts that served cunt in the, in the, in the land of Cuntasia. It's, I, I can't overstate how well, I love it Bridget is. Nielsen, of course. She walks in, she's, she says, Bridget. eat the floor. She tells everybody to eat the floor. We're going to use this on my little I exercise video. Bomber. You're not ready for this. The, be- the beginning of um, the beginning of Pulp Fiction. If any, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'll execute every ass motherfucking Amanda Plummer, legendary. Yeah, uh, Dolores, uh, not um, Needful Things. Remember her in Needful Things? I'm reading that book right now. It's a good book. I read it too. It's, it's great really book. Good. It's Dolores Claiburn, yeah. fabulous book. Well, fabulous yes, book. and also um, women guns screaming. The Silk Spectre and Watchmen fake robs the bank. Oh, and, and, um, and HBO's Watchmen is fake it, robs the bank. It, the movie or the series? The series. Um, she fake robs the bank to 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 like set up a masked Avenger and catch her. She's in the FBI. And I love oh, women oh, with Jean guns. Smart? Yes, Jean, Jean Smart, Mama, robbing a bank. Jean Smart invented eating. She did. No one had eaten. People were people were starving. It was the, the Irish famine, and then the famine of um the uh, Calcutta debacle, and then, then Jean there was Smart. a hunger strike. Exactly, then, and then the Hunger Games, yeah. of course. And then Jean Smart came along and said, "Chomp, chomp, chomp, everybody, let's de- let's die." And it was breaking news, and suddenly grocery stores were invented. <laughs> everybody was cooking. Well, grocery stores had been there, just no food in them, <laughs> <laughs> and no one worked there. <laughs> no one. All right. Well, that's it. Wait, is um, that it? That is that's it. it. Yeah. We have a very special guest next week that you're about to record now. So make sure you tune in, okay? Gene Smart. Close. Okay. Close. Any pots. Any yeah. pots. Thank you guys. Bye bye.